Hey, today I wanted to talk to you about something that's not a lot, not a lot of fun to talk about. And I will tell you right now that we had a son, and many of you may know this, that uh, committed suicide when he was 15, 15 and a half years old. And I'm going to say it's the exact type of pain. But we've always, it's not the exact type of pain. But one of the things, being in the business we're in, which is chronic pain times 35 years almost now, we know of and deal with patients that become suicidal simply because of chronic pain. It is so frustrating to hurt, to go into the next day, the next moment, wondering how much agony you're going to be in. That is not fun. We have seen many episodes of people where if you can't help them, they resort to the ultimate, and that's not good. One of the things we try to do is to never let you get to that point. I will tell you, one of the choices of stimulation that has been used is what they call deep brain stimulation. They literally take a, a type of unit and they put a couple of wires and they go into the brain and they shoot electrical signals across and you're actually trying to deaden a part of the brain that perceives pain. That's a very risky operation. Anytime you cut into the body, there's scar tissue issues. Anytime you cut into the brain, there's even more issues because you don't always know what you're cutting. Anytime you insert wires, you're gonna have scar tissue. There's a chance those wires can move and you change the path of the electricity. This is extremely risky. I will tell you where the TENS units started from. If you're familiar with TENS, the external devices, they actually started from people needing what's called a dorsal column stimulator or spinal stimulator, which is where you put the wires beside the spine and you shoot them. And they would test an external device to see if that was helping the patient. And if it was helping the patient, then that was indicative, let's put in a DCS, and in those extreme situations where the patient would literally say, help me or I'm gonna commit suicide. When those things happen, that would be DBS. But that is where the external devices started. And that's also where I think the FDA, somebody along the line, assumed an external device, which an internal device does cause harm. It can cause harm. It is dangerous. They assumed an external device was like an internal device. And that's where I think the prescription stuff came from, about needing a prescription when you're doing an, an external device. But what we try to do is when we work with you, we are very, very conscious we have one job to do, and that is to reduce, lessen, stop the pain you're feeling. We are trying to not get you in a situation or to get you out of a situation where you're having to take mind-altering type medications, you're having trouble going day to day, trying to live because of chronic pain. And I, I just wanted to do this video to let you know when you talk to anybody that, with us, with MedFacts, we are very conscious of the type of life we deal basically with chronic pain. We're aware of some of the issues that are going on and we do everything we possibly can. Don't ever think there's not an option. There is an option to stop in your pain and we will help you achieve those options no matter what. So the suicide stuff, throw it out of your head. We're gonna help you not even go there. Appreciate you watching the video.